so so this is the day after i came back from the village so yesterday i went to the village so yesterday i went to the village today is the next day <clears throat> i'm getting ready now i'm getting ready now to go to benin benin city not benin not Benin republic benin city and that is uh, when i say you know that is my hometown and <clears throat> I went to my village, right? But now I'm going to my hometown. <laughs> so uh, people argue with me. There was a lady that was arguing with me once when I said that. And I was trying to explain that hometown is actually where you grew up. You know, I grew up in Benin. The village, that's the village where my parents are from. My mother is actually from the... Uh, uh, my mother's village is not far away, but we had to rush out of the village. My sister kept on saying, we need to go. People were telling us, people were telling us we need to go before darkness hits. No, darkness is a different vibe altogether. Just leave. They said, just go, just go. Don't let darkness meet you. Just leave. Like, so eventually I couldn't go to everywhere I wanted to go, to be honest. There were people I wanted to see. There's a cousin of mine that, that I met. Her sister was the one on the motorbike here. Yeah. Um, she's all much much older than me and I wanted to really see her I really wanted to see her but they just said everybody kept on saying just go 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 darkness is gonna fall and in the village darkness comes I don't know why but it, get, it gets dark over there very quickly and they said just leave just leave I said okay let me not overdo it and just be oh, um, too brave if that makes sense and then we left what was I trying to say I can't remember, I wanted to say something, but anyways. So I'm getting ready now to go to Benin, which is a uh, dose state. Oh, see, I was, sorry, I was talking about hometown. Um, hometown in the sense that that was where your hometown is actually a place where you were born. Hometown is also the place where you grew up. So Benin is my hometown as well, right? So I'm heading to Benin today. And I'm going to bring you guys along. And uh, hmm, I don't know. You see, this part of the world, right? Uh, well, this part of Nigeria, that I, my village is... There's so much going on. There's a political problem going on. So the, normally there's still crime, you know. There's still crime and there's still the kidnappings and the, um, your father's enemy, your uncle's enemy, those kind of... There's just so many branches of problems in that side. Oh, sorry, if you don't know the political problem in my side, is that my side of Nigeria uh, want, want us to um, break away, or let's say a lot of people. So there's... Um, this push for they want to break away from nigeria so that we can be called biafra that's what that is and then you know <clears throat> the people spearheading it the the it's almost like I, i'm trying to explain it as much as i understand it right so there's that clashes of if you if you try to um if you belong to any of the political I hope I'm not saying it wrong. You know, if you they don't want our people taking part in any politics, they said there shall be no elections, there shall be no whatever. Nigerian laws should not apply to us. And then there's this uh, man that has been speaking up for the longest time for us to have our country. Because we've tried to break away in the past well, to be called Biafra, but it didn't work out. There was a war, and Nigeria, if I can put it that way, Nigeria defeated us. Uh, I say us in the sense that we wanted to call to be a country on our own and be Biafra and uh, so we were we became Biafra Nigeria you know the other part of Nigeria that you know we were trying to leave um, decided it wasn't gonna happen and there was a war and our people were killed um, which can be called genocide really to actually not can be called it was a genocide and children died and a lot of uh, my people were taken from Biafra and taken to Ireland even to a lot of foreign countries because of the Catholic priests, uh, uh, Catholic Church or Catholic, I get tongue twisted, Catholicism, if I'm saying it right, the Catholic Church. And um, when the war broke out, the Irish, the Irish played a big part in uh, taking um, uh, uh, mostly children. They took children to safety. I don't, I don't know if they took m mothers. I don't even know, but they took a lot of children into stay safety. And um, so a lot of those children ended up becoming Irish and they never went back. And um, it's a long story anyways. So yeah, so there's that problem on that side. But anyways, so yeah, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm heading to Benin and Benin has a special place in my heart as well. Um, that was where I went to primary school, uh, primary two, because I did primary one in the village. And um, because when, when we were, 
I was born to my parents when we were living in Lagos, right? But in those days when my mother was due to have a baby, she goes to the village. She goes to the village to have a baby so they can do the typical traditional rites and everything. And when I say traditional, like no way your mother and the other co-wives, when they say co-wives, your husband's brother's wives are called co-wives. They will say our wife. You understand? Because there was a unity kind of a thing. It doesn't mean they were exchanging wife with each other, no. But just that all the wives called themselves co-wives. Because we are, we are wives to the same blood. We are wives to the same bro to, to brothers. So they always say, we are the wives. Okay? So yeah, you go and then there are roles that the co-wives will play. The postnatal uh, assistance you get is top-notch. People cook for you, clean for you, help you with the baby, and have so you can have a nap. It's an amazing system, traditional culture, you know, the tradition, the culture. It's amazing because those of us that had our children abroad, we can speak about the fact that we would do anything to have what they have when they give birth in the in the village and all of that. But I know, so I was born. My parents were living in Lagos. My mother went to the village to give birth to me. The normal tradition, she would stay. I think I don't know if it's six months before she moves back to town with the baby. <clears throat> Before she moves to town with the baby, so yeah, and then I grew up in Lagos to the age of five, and then by the time I was six, we went to the village because our father had migrated to Benin, and his business was doing really, really well, so he decided to bring his family to join him, but meanwhile, he sent us all from Lagos to the, the village, we stayed for a year. And he then got ready and invited us to come and be with him. My face has tanned already. And you just want to be your mate. But part of my body that I kept covered, look at the difference. My face is normally lighter, darker than my body, but not this one. Look at the difference. The tan is out of this world. Look at that. That's the thing. Especially when you're under the sun all the time, all the time, because we had a lot of going around to do. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to keep it too long. Yeah, so went to that primary school for one year. I was in primary one there and then we then when we went to join my there's another cousin i wanted to see she has down syndrome and um, she has down syndrome and um she got married but i was asking i said i want to go see her i want to and they were like oh um like it's not nobody nobody like my mother doesn't know exactly she knows where i don't know if they were like oh i think no, I don't know if they don't even know where it is, but somehow I wasn't able to make it. I really, really wanted to say, you guys would have loved her. She is the happiest, the smiliest human being you'd ever see. I grew up with her, like, she's older than me, to be honest, maybe about five years older. But because of her intellectual disability, we kind of, we, we got along like age mates, you know, at that time. So um, I always love seeing her. She just, she brings back, that's the thing. Some people are basically, you know, people you can't. The, the place is not complete without them because they're, so, they're part of the history of part of your childhood, part of your the history of the place and and um, um, what's it called now? The fabric of a, of a community, a fabric, you say, fabric of society. She 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 has her issues, but like uh, with Down syndrome and all of that. But she's someone that you know she she belongs. How am I saying this now? Sorry, like there's a big part of that play, my place that she's a big part of my place let me put it that way okay now um yeah did i say that so benin it was where i went to primary two uh i did one year in the village and then primary two then was when i was what i started in benin and uh, yeah secondary school as well in benin and uh, most of my um Benin is where I spent, okay, well, abroad is where I spent the most la part of my life now. But if you speak of Nigeria, Benin is where I spent most of my of my life or my time growing up would be Benin. So there's no way I can come up. I don't think I've ever been to Nigeria and not go to Benin. No. I've been to Nigeria and didn't go to the village. Because they would say, don't come, don't come, oh, don't go, don't go, don't go. But this time around, I said I was going and I did. I'm glad I did. But uh, I've never been to Nigeria and not go to Benin. It just doesn't, you know, there's something about where you grew up. And so if I don't go to Benin, it doesn't feel like... I reached my job. That makes sense. So yeah, yeah. So that's where I'm heading today. But because of the what happened the other time, I haven't got. I'm busy talking. Because of me being in trouble the other day and my blood pressure crashing, my blood pressure was ridiculously low. My blood pressure was very, very low. So I'm, now I'm keeping an eye on my blood pressure to be sure it's fine. I checked it last night and it was, um, I think it was one or something. Um, it wasn't too low. One or something. I checked it again. It was one twenty-four. Over, you know, it, it, it's good. My blood pressure is good. But let me check it today before I leave. Mm -mm. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> 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 Make me follow. <laughs>